Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Drang uh, in standard difficulty. So, uh, we have Hulk in protection. Let's see how we do. Uh, so, looking at our setup, we have put the Badoon environment, uh, Badoon ship environment into play, which we have here, and the Milano support into play, which we have here. So, we have the Badoon ship, which has a special charge up, place one barrage counter here, then if there are four, uh, or more barrage counters here, deal two indirect damage to each player and remove all barrage counters from here. And we have the Milano, which uh, first player controls, we exhaust Milano and generate a wild resource for any player. Moving on to stage 1B of the main scheme, this threat's out at 8. There's a force response after resolving step 1 of the villain phase, we resolve the Badoon charge up ability, and as a first player action we exhaust the Milano and remove 3 threat from the scheme, and this comes in with 2 threat per player. We have Drang, he has a scheme of one, attack of two. When he schemes, we resolve the ship's charge up ability. So, move mouse out of the way as usual. And uh, let's drop our hand size of five. So we have Limitless Strength, Thunderclap, Hulk Smash, Electrostatic Armor, and Starhawk. Well, I mean, we're going to hold on to limit the strength and the Hulk smash, right? Like, why would we not? Starhawk would be probably nice. We'll throw away Thunderclap and Electrostatic Armor. I know I'm meant to probably be digging for things like Quinn Carrier, but... Oh! <laughs> Quinn Carrier and Preemptive Strike. So this makes things interesting. All right, we'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. We have a deaf focus. And, all right. No, I meant to build, but yeah. Flip up to Hulk. We're going to spend three resources to put in the Quinn Carrier since we're an Avenger. We will then use the Milano to put in a Death Focus. So the Quinn Carrier, which can uh, Generate a wild resource, and we have Death, Fo Death Focus, which we exhaust to reduce the cost of the next super ca power card we play by one. So we're going to use the Queen Carrier, Death Focus, and Star Hawk to pay for a Hulk Smash. When you make a basic attack, you get plus 10 to the attack. If you pay for it only using physical resources, then it gains overkill, but we don't need to worry about that. We swing for 13 on Drang, knocking him into stage two. So when revealed, uh, he comes in with 14 hit points. And if Drang Spear is in play, give him a face down boost card. Uh, otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard half a Drang Spear and reveal it and shuffle the encounter deck. So there's his spear. But attached to Drang, he gets Stalwart, so he can't be stunned or confused. We can spend a mental and two physical resources to discard this card. It's giving him plus one attack as well. Okay, that will ready up. We got four cards. We have Energy, Ironheart, Armored Vest, and Night Nurse. Uh, two threat goes on the main scheme. After resolving step one of the villain phase, resolve the Badoon ship's charge ability, so it gets a counter. Drang is now going to attack us for four. We will just take it. So four plus nothing. Knocking us down to 14. And we get our encounter card. As we can exhaust the Milano, spend two resources or deal three damage to the first player. We'll just exhaust the Milano. Oh, do we want to do that? 
No, we'll be alright. Okay. We'll spend two resources to put in Ironheart. After you play Ironheart from your hand, we draw a card. A preemptive strike. We use a Quinn Carrier to put in the Night Nurse. So she comes in with three medical counters. We can exhaust her, remove a medical counter from her, and heal uh, one damage and discard one status from a hero. We'll put in an armored vest, give us plus one defense. If I can find the token, there we go. We will then attack for three. And drain down to 11, Ironheart will thwart for one. Taking the main down to three. And then we're ready. Draw four cards. We have hard to ignore. A movable object. Nerves of steel. And unflappable. All right. Uh, two threat goes on the main scheme. Taking up to five out of eight. Resolve the charge up ability. Uh, Drang is going to come in and hit us for four, but we will we'll use Ironheart to block. Four, five. Ironheart gets knocked out. Get our encounter card. Okay, we flip form and Bruce Banner, we discard two cards from our hand. Going to be, oh, uh, it's going to be a flappable and a movable object. Okay. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card, and discard a card. We have a desperate defense. We'll lose that. Flip up, use a Quinn Carrier, and are hard to ignore to put in Nerves of Steel. So Nerves of Steel, we can exhaust it, we can generate an energy resource for a defense event. We'll attack for three. Take Drang down to eight. Exhaust Milano and Rift 3 Threat off the main scheme. I'm all ready. Draw four cards. For Hulk Smash, Boundless Rage, Suborbital will Leap, and Crushing Blow. I mean, we've probably got this from here, right? So, two Threat on the main scheme, Resolve the Charge Up ability. That's at three. Once it gets to four, we have to resolve the damage. Uh, Drang is attacking us for four. We're just going to take it because we want to try and be ready for the Hulk smash. So four, five. Give the villain a tough status card. If he already has tough, he gets plus two for this attack. All right. So he gets tough. And he hits us for five. How disappointing. Get our encounter card. Okay, we get a Badoon Engineer. Force once after the Badoon Engineer engages you, activates against you, resolve the Badoon's uh, Badoon ship's charge ability. So this will hit four. Remove uh, the counters from it and deal two indirect damage to each player. So Hulk takes two. Okay. This changes our game plan a little then, doesn't it?
Actually, not so much. Use a Queen Carrier for a crushing blow to deal damage equal to our attack. Our attack is three, which will knock off the tough. Uh, we exhaust the Milano. Spend another two resources. The Hulk Smash. In fact, make that all physical. So we'll hit for 13 with overkill, three onto the Badoon Engineer. Remaining 10, we'll go to Drang. Which defeats Drang. Wasn't even trying to rush with this uh, with this deck. I thought I'd build out and just you know deal with indirect damage, have protection tricks going on. Uh, but you know, Hulk does what he does. Hulk's strongest one there is once again. Uh, Drang is defeated. Uh, if I made any mistakes or whatnot, please make sure you point them out in the comments. Otherwise, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.